Hi, welcome to the yoga challenge day one. Um, we're gonna get started right away. If you wanna turn on some of your own music, um, now would be the time, I'll give you like one minute, um, just cause YouTube flags me when I put up music. So no music for me today, but I hope you can turn on some lovely tunes for yourself. And once you have pressed that play button, or maybe you just wanna to listen to the birds outside, we're gonna start in Sukhasana, crisscross applesauce. So come to your mat and find a comfortable seat. If this feels uncomfortable to sit on your bum, you can always grab a pillow or two and sit on top of the pillows, or you can come and sit on your knees. Either one works. And once you get there, I invite you to close your eyes if it feels okay. And start to unhinge the jaw, relax the face. And just notice where your breath is at. Without changing it yet, just notice. No judgment. And as you start to notice where your breath is at, Bring all your awareness down to your seat bones, really feeling each seat bone on the ground, or if you're sitting on your knees, each shin on the ground. And then I want you to drop your chin just a little bit down to just bring your awareness inward. And we're gonna take a deep inhale together, fill all the way up. And exhale, let it go. Again, deep inhale from the pelvis, through the belly, the lungs, the upper back, the chest. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath, deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Start to activate a breath here that feels good to you, even inhales and even exhales. Noticing if you can soften any of those muscles in the face a little bit more. And starting to invite an intention into our practice. If nothing comes to mind, you can take mine, which is taking up some space with your body. We're gonna get into our side bodies a lot today, kind of growing, lengthening. And then throughout the day, maybe you take up a little bit more space than you usually do. Maybe you do something that scares you. Maybe you call somebody you haven't called in a while. And on the mat, really lengthening in the body seeing how much space you can take up. Take one more big breath here. And slowly open your eyes, bring your head up. You're gonna place your right hand on the ground down by the bum. I like to come on my fingertips, but you can also come on the pad of your hand. Left hand to the sky, deep inhale. And then exhale, little bend to that right elbow left arm over your head towards the right. Keep lengthening in both side bodies. A little engagement to the abs. One more breath here. And then inhale, come all the way up. Place your left hand on the ground, right hand to the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, little bend into that left elbow, right arm over your head. Equal length on the right side body and left side body. Feel both seat bones rooting down equally. One more breath. We're gonna go breath to movement. So inhale up, exhale over to the right. Inhale, come up and over to the left. Again, inhale up to the right. Inhale up, like a little dance to the left. Inhale up, to the right. 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 Inhale up
inhale, come up to the right and up to the left. How much space can you take up? Keep going. Good, inhale up to the left. Inhale up to the right. One more time each side. Inhale up to the left. Inhale up to the right. Ugh, slowly come up. Place your right hand behind your bum, left hand to the sky. Deep inhale. Exhale, left hand to right knee, twist, looking back over your right shoulder. Engage the abs. And we're twisting from just above the belly button. So the belly button is staying forward and the ribs are twisting over. One more breath here. Nice, keeping that left hand on your knee, right hand to the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, drag that right hand all the way across to hang in front of your left knee. Let your head hang heavy. Relax the shoulders from your ears. Soften in the jaw. And take deep breaths into that right side body. Two more big breaths here. Deep inhale, fill up. Let it go. One more breath. Hmm. Nice, slowly come up through center. Place your left hand behind your bum, right hand to the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, right hand to left knee, twist, gazing over your left shoulder. Every inhale, our hearts are coming high to the sky. Every exhale, our shoulder blades are drawing down our back. One more breath here. Leave that right hand on your knee, left hand to the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, guide that left hand all the way across to hang in front of your right knee. Relax in the neck, relax in the shoulders. Take big breath into that whole left side body. Maybe with every inhale, you're filling up a little bit more into that tight area. And with every exhale, really imagining in your head that old energy is leaving that area. Soften in that area. New space is opening up. One more breath here. Slowly come up through center. Place your legs out in front of you. Knees are bent, toes are to the sky. Hands are gonna come around your thighs, cross your wrists, grab for your shins. If you can't grab your shins, walk your feet closer together. Nice, and then you're gonna slowly lean back on your tailbone, round your upper back, look back at your chest. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your cheeks. Big breath, deep inhale. Exhale, let something go. Three more breaths here. If it feels good to sway your head left to right, you can. Or if stillness feels better, just stay still. We have one more big breath here. Good, slowly come up. Place your hands onto your knees. On the next inhale, you're gonna pull your knees back. Shoulder blades come together, deep inhale. Exhale, round the spine, lean back on your tailbone, belly button into your spine. Good, again, inhale, come forward, crack your heart through. Exhale, round the spine. Again, inhale forward. How much space can you take up? Exhale, round the spine. 
One more time. Inhale forward. And exhale round. Then you slowly come up and onto all fours into tabletop position. Once you get there, spread your fingers wide. Root your shins into the ground as if they could touch. Belly is tight. Deep inhale, drop your chest, look forward, cow pose. Exhale, cat press through your hands, round the spine, look back at your legs. Good again, inhale, cow, come through, drop your heart, look forward. Once you're here, lean one inch back. Exhale, cat, round the spine, keep engaging your inner thighs towards one another, and then lean one inch forward. Again, inhale, cow, drop your heart, look forward. Exhale, cat. I lie one more time. Inhale, cow, drop the heart, come through. Exhale, cat, round the spine. Ooh. Nice, you guys. We're gonna come to puppy dog pose. I like to bring my knees just a little bit wider. And then you're gonna walk your hands long out onto the ground. Heart is gonna to drop towards the ground. Hips are stacked directly over your knees. You can either bring your chin to the ground or your forehead, whatever feels good to you. And right away, connect with that breath. Really soften in those shoulder blades. And send that expanding breath into your heart area, opening up. With every exhale, letting something go. Two more breaths. One more big breath. Nice, slowly walk your palms back underneath you, just to bring yourself down to your belly. Oh, my friend Mia, come here. <laughs> she's here to say hi to you all. <laughs> kind of blocking the video. She thinks she's always the star of the show. I hope you're on your bellies now. <laughs> Sorry, little Mia. You can come do yoga down here. <laughs> Get onto your belly. Tee out your arms like an airplane. If you have shoulder problems, guide your arms down towards your hips a bit more. If not, you can leave your arms straight out by your shoulders. You're gonna place your right ear on the mat, and then you're gonna guide your right leg, or your left leg, over your right side body. And really soften in the back of your neck. Soften in that right arm. If you want a bigger stretch, you can take this left hand and place it on your left hip. If you want even a bigger stretch, some people can clasp their hands together behind their back. Not me, but maybe that serves you. And again, big breaths into that heart area. Deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Two more breaths. Really nice, you guys, slowly roll back to center. Place the left ear on the mat. On the next inhale, you're gonna guide your right leg over your left side body. Again, if you want a bigger stretch, you can take that right hand, place it on your right hip. Or maybe you can clasp your hands together behind your back. Come back to taking those big belly breaths. Even inhales and even exhales. Really softening in those shoulder blades. Softening in that left arm.
Two more big breaths here. One more breath, fill up. And exhale, let something go. Let's slowly roll back to the belly. Place your hands underneath your shoulders to come back up to tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, deep inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high to the sky. Once you get here, you can pedal out the legs or maybe wiggle your hips. It's really feeling the ground underneath you. And then from here, find a place of stillness. Root your hands into the ground. Belly is up and in. Root the heels as much as you can down towards the ground. It's okay if they don't touch. Two more breaths. Nice. On the next inhale, we're going to walk our feet the width of the mat. You're going to grab your left ankle with your right hand. Keep sending your hips high to the sky. Keep rooting your feet into the ground. Press through that left hand and breathe. Hmm. Let something go here. One more big breath. Good, place that right hand back onto the ground. On the next inhale, you're gonna grab your right ankle with your left hand. Press through that right hand. Press through your feet. Engage your abs, bellies up and in. Two more breaths. Nice, you guys. Place the left hand back on the ground. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your feet to your hands for ragdoll pose. Feet will be hip width distance apart once you get there. Relax in your neck. Relax in the arms. If you want to get into the lower back, you can bend the knees more. Or if you want to get into the behind the legs, the hamstrings and all that good stuff, you can straighten the legs. I'm getting, giving a little movement to my torso left to right if you want to join me, little sways. Or maybe yeses and noes at the head. We'll just be here for two more breaths, so enjoy. away from one another as if you have little velcro on your heels. Keep that engagement out. It will turn on your glutes and it will turn on your thighs, yeah? As this engagement is happening, press your feet into the ground. Inhale to Dasana, hands to the sky. Exhale, soften the shoulders on the exhale. Nice, you guys. Interlace your hands. Place them behind your head. Little bend to the knees. Engage the abs and the glutes, baby back bend. Let your head hang in your little hammock you made with your hands. Lift your heart high to the sky. Soften in the face. How much space can you take up with that heart area? Inhale your hands back to the sky. Steeple grip, point your fingers together, reach high. Exhale over to the right. Nice, equal weight in both feet. Abs are engaged just a little to lengthen both side bodies. One more breath. Good, inhale back to center. And then exhale other side over to the left. A little poke out of that right hip. Equal side body stretch. <sighs> One more breath here. 
good. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bring your hands down to your hips. A little perk out of the bum. Forward fold, hinge at the hips. One breath here. Deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Nice, you guys. Inhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands to the sky. Exhale, steeple grip. Point your fingers together. Reach high. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, back to center. And then over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Undo your steeple grip. Shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, let your arms fall down like spaghetti. Good. Inhale your hands to the sky, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let the arms drop. <sighs> Little bounces at the end if you want to join me. Inhale, hands to the sky, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, let the arms drop. <sighs> One more time. Inhale, hands to the sky, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Good. Keep those bounces going. Now start to really bounce, pressing through the toes. If you want, maybe you can bounce around your house a little. <laughs> As you're here, really relaxing the cheeks and the jaw and really feeling that gravity take your whole body down, releasing some of that energy out. We'll just be here for a few more breaths. And if you want to exercise your face muscles, you can smile. <laughs> Good, you guys. And then slowly come to standing. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close the eyes if it feels okay. Come back to even inhales, even exhales. Softening on every exhale. Feeling the ground underneath your feet. One more breath. Inhale your hands to the sky. Exhale forward fold, hinge at the hips. Inhale halfway with the spine. Either bring your hands to your shins or your thighs to create one line with your spine that's parallel to the floor. Maybe a little bend in your knees. Ribs are knitting together, bellies up and in. Deep inhale. Exhale, crouch and curl. Start to bend the knees. Come to your tippy toes. Hands come to the ground. Forehead to your knees. Start to fire up those abs. Using your abs here. Using your hamstrings. One more breath. A deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lower your bum down towards your heels. Plant your hands on the ground, step back, high plank. Staying here for just a moment, you can always drop down into your knees. Really feeling your hands pressing into the earth, feeling the feet press down to the ground. Engage the glutes, engage the hamstrings, engage the thighs. And then we're gonna give little rocks forward to back. So inhale forward, exhale back. On your own pace, if you're on your knees, same thing. Trying to keep that body in one line. Got a few more breaths here. Nice, deep inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, low plank, bend your elbows up to 90 degrees. You can always come down to your knees. Untuck the toes, shine your heart through upward facing dog. Staying here for just a moment. Hands are rooted down into the earth. Shoulders are back. Belly's tight, glutes is tight. And then try to engage those thighs to lift the knees up off the ground. Deep inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Use your abs. One breath here. Nice, you guys. Inhale the right leg to the sky. And today we're gonna open the hips. So Stack the hips and bend that right knee. Oh, yes, feels so good. Feeling that whole right side body get a good stretch. Keep pressing your heart towards your left leg. Two more breaths. 
Keep the abs tight. One more breath. <sighs> Deep inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, runners lunge. You're going to step the right foot on the outside of your right hand. And then drop down to your knee, the left knee. Good, lean forward in your hips. And soften. Oh, just let your head hang heavy. Relax in the face. And send deep breaths into that left hip flexors. If it feels good to get up any movement forward to back, you can. Or maybe it feels good to splay that right knee open. At any point, any movement is welcome in my classes. Whatever your body needs. One more big breath here. And slowly toe heel your right foot into between your hands. And then you're gonna press down through that left shin, engage your abs and bring your hands up to your right thigh. Keep leaning forward in your hips. Keep gluing that left shin down to the ground. As the left shin's gluing into the ground, Engage that left knee forward as if there's a little Velcro on that left knee and then a little Velcro on your right heel, engage it back. So they're pulling into one another. Belly's up and in. Face is soft. Oh yeah, let something go here guys. Two more breaths. One more breath. Nice. I should have said this before this pose, but if it, your knee is kind of hurting on the ground, you can take the side of your mat and just roll it up like this and then put your knee back on it. <laughs> A little more padding, yeah? Good. On the next inhale, place your right hand on the inside of your right thigh, left hand to the sky. Keep leaning forward in those hips, deep inhale. Exhale, left hand over your head to the right. Ooh, yes, that hip flexor, that thigh, feel that. Keep pressing your right hand into your right leg. Right leg into your right hand. Belly is tight. Face is soft. Two more breaths. How much room can you take up? Bring your hands back down by your hips. Deep inhale. Exhale, half splits. Come onto that left knee, straighten the right leg. Hands come down to the ground. Hips are stacked over your knee. If your hands don't reach the ground, that's okay. You can put them on your hips. Keep pulling that right heel back towards your face. Belly is up and in to create room in that hip flexor. Mm, nice, you guys, let's give this some movement. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Two breaths here. Okay, from the next inhale, you're going to give a little bend to that right knee. Get your left hand in the air. <laughs> right hand is on the ground. Grab those right toes with your left hand. Forehead to your knee. And lean back in your hips. Breathe into that right hip, into the lower back. And if your hamstrings are really tight, you'll probably feel in that right hamstring too. Two more breaths. Hmm. 
really nice slowly come to a low lunge at the top of your mat. Unfold your mat if it's folded. <laughs> Good. You're going to place that left heel on the ground. And then you're going to bring this right hand to the inside of your right foot. Inhale the left hand to the sky extended side angle. You can always rest your right elbow on your right thigh. Keep lengthening in both side bodies. Engage the glutes and engage the hamstrings towards one another. So squeeze everything into your midline. On the next inhale, left hand over your head. Stay for the exhale. Good, deep inhale. Exhale, skandhasana on the right. Turn both toes to the long edge of your mat. Lean into that right knee. Left leg is straight. If you want more, you can do skandhasana full expression, which is like a karate kick. So you're gonna come all the way down, bending into that right knee, left toes to the sky. If you can place that right heel on the ground, great. If not, that's okay. Keep pulling your inner thighs towards one another. And imagine I'm over there pulling your left leg long from you at the same time. <sighs> nice, you guys. Two more breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale, let something go. Good. Place this right hand on your right thigh or near your right thigh. Left hand over your head. Lean over to the right. If your feet are on the ground, same thing. Right hand on the ground, on your inner thigh. Lean over to the right. Good. One more breath. How much space can you take up? Slowly bring that left hand to the ground, deep inhale. Exhale, wide leg it forward, fold. Pigeon toe the toes in just slightly. And then just relax, let your head hang heavy. Let the cheeks hang. And breathe. If you want to join me with little sways of the torso, you can, or maybe yeses and noes of the head. We'll be here for one more breath. Good, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your mat. Plant the hands, step back to a high plank. Low plank when you're ready, you can always drop down to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart through, engage the glutes and the abs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one full breath here. Beautiful, inhale the left leg to the sky. Exhale, stack the hips, open the hips, bend into that left knee. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Feel that whole left side body, that left hip flexor, getting that nice stretch. One more breath. And inhale, left leg straight. Exhale, runners, lunge on the left step, your left foot on the outside of your left hand. Drop down to your right knee. Lean forward in your hips. And relax, soften, <sighs> let something go. Again, if any movement of forward to back feels good here, or maybe splaying that left knee open, you may do that as well. And again, any rocking throughout the practice is always welcome. If the rocking feels good, it means that your um, nervous system, well, it doesn't mean, but it's like rocking a baby, right? Rocking a baby kind of slows down our nervous, their nervous system, so it does the same thing for our body. Once we get those little rocks out, we come back to a centered nervous system, into a stillness place, into a grounding place. So, rocking's welcome. <laughs> Two more breaths here. Nice, 
you guys slowly toe heel your left foot into the middle of your hands. Place that right shin on the ground. If you want to roll up your right side of your mat to place your right knee on it, you can now. And then bring your hands to your thigh, the left thigh. Keep leaning forward in your hips. Engage your glutes, bellies up and in. Left heel is pulling back, right knee is pulling forward. Feel that engagement. Turn on that right thigh. Two more breaths, we got this. Belly's up and in. Keep that engagement on. Good on the next inhale, place that left hand, forearm onto the left inner thigh, right hand to the sky. Deep inhale. Exhale, guide that right hand to the left over your head. Ooh, feel that in that hip flexor. Yes. Keep pressing that left arm into the leg, leg into the arm. How much space can you lengthen that right side body a little longer? We got this, two more breaths. Really nice, slowly bring the right arm up and then down towards your hips. Have splits on the left, straight in the left leg. Bring your arms to frame your left leg. Again, if your arms don't touch the ground, that's okay, you can place them on your hips. Really root down through that right shin. Pour that, pull that left heel back towards your face. Engage the abs to make room in that hip flexor. And breathe. Really nice inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Stay for two breaths here. On the next inhale, give a little bend to that left knee. Place your left hand on the ground. Grab those left toes with your right hand. Forehead to your knee. Lean back in your hips. Keep pulling that left hip back. And breathe into that hip area. Breathe into the lower back. Into that hamstring. Two more big breaths. Really nice, slowly come up. Lunge into that left leg. Tuck those right toes, lift the right knee up off the ground. And then you're gonna place that right heel on the ground, so spin that foot down. Left hand is gonna to come to the inside of your left foot. Right hand to the sky, extended side angle. You can always rest that left forearm on your left knee. Really feeling the feet on the ground, tight in your bum. And then engage your inner thighs towards one another. Everything's pulling into your midline. On the next inhale, right hand over your head. Stay for your exhale. One more breath here. Really nice, deep inhale. Exhale, skandasana on the left. You're gonna turn your toes to the long side of your mat. Lean into that left knee, right leg is straight. If you wanna do the full expression, you can bend all the way into the left knee, right toes towards the sky. Maybe your heel even touches the ground. Whatever feels good in your body. And wherever you're at, engage those inner thighs towards one another. And then lengthen that right leg really long from you. 
Two more breaths. Really nice. Place that left hand onto the ground on the inside of your left leg. Right hand to the sky and then over to the left over your head. Feel that big body stretch on that whole right side body. Good. One more breath. Nice. You guys slowly bring the right hand back to the ground. Deep inhale. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, press through that left leg so you can come up to straightening it. Pigeon toe those toes in towards one another slightly and just let your head hang heavy. <sighs> Take some big breaths here. Soften in your cheeks. Soften in the neck. Relax the shoulders. Really nice, deep inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your mat. Your hands will frame the left leg. Plant the hands, step back, high plank. Low plank when you're ready. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart. Engage the glutes in your abs. Engage those thighs to lift those knees up off the ground. From the abs, downward facing dog, send the hips high to the sky. Nice, you guys. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Step the right foot in between your hands. Good. On the next inhale, you're going to drop the left knee to the ground. You're going to turn the left toes to the right. And then you're going to sweep your left hand to the back of your mat. Right leg long out. Right hand to the sky. Good. Press down through that left shin. On the next inhale, you're going to bring that right hand over your head. And then bend in the elbow. And let your head just hang heavy. And imagine I'm pulling your hips high up to the sky. How far can you get that right hip up? This is a modified wild thing, we'll call it. Two more breaths. Opening that side body. Really nice. Bring the right hand back to the sky. And then down to the ground. So you can walk yourself back to the top of your mat. Low lunge, framing your right foot with your hands. Really feeling those feet on the ground. Start to engage the glutes. And engage the belly up and in. And then hover those hands off the ground. Using your feet, using your bum, using your abs to keep you there. Good. On the next inhale, crescent lunge, hands to the sky. Let's all give a big bend to our left knee to start. Engage your glutes and then tuck your tailbone, so belly button up towards your chin. And then if you can, without moving your hips from there, you can start to straighten that left leg. But a bent knee is always good too. On the next inhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Soften on your exhale. Good, inhale, lengthen your arms. Exhale, soften. Two more times, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lengthen, reach back. Exhale, soften. Really nice. Inhale, your hands back to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, spin open. Plant that left heel on the ground. Turn your side body out towards this, out towards me, out towards us. Let's get this. Keep bending in that right knee. Deep inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior, left hand to left leg, right arm to the sky. Over the head, lunge in that right knee. 
Relax the shoulders from your ears. Deep inhale. Exhale, press back to warrior two, straighten the right leg. Triangle pose. We're going to bump the hips to the back. So left hip to the left. And then you can even take your hand, place your right hand in your right hip socket and turn your right hip back. Good. Place your right hand down, left hand to the sky. Press through your feet and then engage your glutes. That might lift your torso up a bit, which is good. Lengthening both side bodies. And then take that left arm, place it on your right rib like you're giving yourself a hug. And then we're going to pull this right rib high to the sky. And then lift our left arm back to the sky. One more breath. Ah, so nice. Press down through that right big toe. Inhale, reverse triangle. Left hand to left leg, right arm to the sky. How much space can we take up? How tall can we become? Good deep inhale. Exhale, low lunge at the front of your mat. Bend into that right knee. Frame your right foot with your hands. On the next inhale, right hand to the sky, twist. Keep pressing through your feet. Abs are up and in. Deep inhale. On the exhale, you're going to bring those right fingertips to tap your left wrist, trying to get the forearm as close as you can down to the ground. Again, inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, right hand to left wrist. Tap the wrist. Forearm as close as you can get down. Feel that in your right hamstring. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, right fingertips. Tap that left wrist. Again, inhale, right hand up. Exhale, curl. Let those right fingertips tap. Two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, right fingertips to the left wrist. Tap. Inhale, up. Exhale, bring that right arm down to tap that left wrist. Hold here. Trying to get the forearm as close as you can down to their ground. One more breath. Nice. Place both hands on the ground on the inside of your right foot. Step back to a high plank. Low plank when you're ready. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Use your abs. Really nice, you guys. One big breath here. Good. Inhale, the left leg to the sky. Exhale, step through, low lunge, step your left foot in between your hands. Right away, we're going to place that right knee down on the ground. Turn your right foot to the left side of your mat. Right hand to the back of your mat. And then left leg long out towards the top of your mat. Left hand to the sky. Really root down through that right shin. And then slowly guide your left arm over your head, bend in the elbow, and let your head hang. Modified wild thing. As you press through your hand and press through your right shin, how high can you lift that left hip up to the sky? Turning your heart towards the sky. Two more breaths. you guys left hand back to the sky slowly bringing your left hand towards the ground so that you can walk yourself to the top of your mat to frame your left foot low lunge nice really feeling the feet on the ground engage the belly engage the glutes inhale crescent lunge hands to the sky soften on the exhale let's give a big bend to that right knee Belly button up towards the chin, tuck the tailbone. Glutes is tight. Face is soft. Shoulders are soft. Two more breaths. One more breath here. Nice on the next inhale, left arm back, right arm forward. 
Soften on your exhale. Inhale, lengthen, reach back. Exhale, soften. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Keep that booty tight. Inhale your hands to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, spin open. Plant that right heel on the ground. Left toes are pointed forward. Torsos out to the long edge of your mat. On the next inhale, reverse warrior, right hand to right leg, left arm to the sky, over your head. Keep lunging in that left knee. Relax the shoulders from your ears. Deep inhale. Exhale, warrior two, straighten both legs, triangle pose. We're gonna bump the right hips to the right, or the right hip back to the right. Take our left hand into the left hip socket. Bump that left hip back towards the back. Left arm down, right arm to the sky. Triangle pose, engage your glutes. Then we'll lift your torso up a bit. Feel the feet on the ground. And then let's bring that right hand to our left rib, like we're giving ourselves a hug. And then pull that left rib high to the sky, right arm to the sky. One more breath. Lengthen that torso. <sighs> On the next inhale, press down through that left big toe. Reverse triangle, right hand to right leg, left arm to the sky. Press through those feet. Take up space. Good, deep inhale. Exhale all the way down to a low lunge on the left. Your hands frame that left leg. On the next inhale, left hand to the sky, twist. Press through your feet. Engage your abs to lengthen the spine. Here we go, deep inhale. Exhale, you're gonna curl the spine, tap those left fingers to your right wrist, trying to get the forearm as close as you can to the ground. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, curls left fingertips to right wrist. Again, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, curl, trying to get your forearm parallel towards the ground, fill in that left hamstring. Again, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, curl, tap those left fingers to that right wrist. Inhale, up. Exhale, curl. How low can you get? One more time, inhale, up. Exhale, curl, stay here. Can you get even lower? Is your forearm parallel to the ground? We got this, deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to a high plank. Low plank when you're ready. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, take a breath. Nice, you guys. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon on the right. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Right toes towards your left wrist. Drop your right shin on the ground. Lengthen that left leg long back. Make sure your hips are stacked, oh, or your torso stacked right on top of your hips, yeah? And we're gonna just stay up here for just a moment really rooting down through that right shin, and then engage your glutes. Your hand, fingertips can stay on the ground, or maybe your hands come to your heart center, or up to the sky. Keep pressing those left foot into the ground as well. One more deep inhale. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. If it's in your practice, walk your hands down towards the ground, disengage in the hips. And soften, let something go. <sighs> Starting to just let the breath be. Softening in your jaw. And then softening in the hips. And as 
as you're here, noticing if your mind starts to wander, that's okay. But if it is, maybe you can bring that breath in, kind of push those thoughts away for now. The breath activates our mind into the present moment. And then from there with the mind, we can evaluate the body. And then bring the breath into the body where it needs to go. So it goes breath activates the mind into this present moment, feeling the body, sending the breath into the body. One more breath here. Really nice, slowly use your palms to walk yourself back up. And back into downward facing dog, hips high to the sky. I'll give you one breath here. Maybe you want to pedal out your legs or wiggle your hips. Really nice. Inhale the left leg to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. Bring your left knee towards your left wrist. Set your shin on the ground. Left toes towards your right wrist. Then scoot that right leg long back. You're on your shoelaces. We're going to activate it first. So really press that left shin into the ground. Engage the glutes, engage the abs. Press that right foot into the ground. Hands either come to your hips or maybe on the ground as well. Your heart, the sky. One more breath. Really nice, deep inhale. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. If it's in your practice, bring your hands to the ground. Disengage in your hips. Start to walk your heart down towards the ground. And relax. Let something go. Oh, I'm hot. I turned the heat up high and it's like hot yoga up in here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Coming back to your own breath. For softening in the jaw, softening in the face, and then letting go in those hips. Every inhale, filling up into that tight area in the hip. And with every exhale, letting go, softening in that area. Imagining old energy leaving. New spaces opening up. yourself one more big breath here. Deep inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. You slowly use your palms to walk yourself up. Fall down onto the left side of your bum. Sweep your leg long out in front of you. And then grab for your inner thighs just so you can roll yourself onto your back. Good job, you all. Here we hit our final resting pose. Final Shavasana. Closing the eyes if it feels okay. Unhinge your jaw. Soften in the cheeks. 
soften in the ears. And start to bring all your awareness to the back of the head, the place that meets the ground. Relax in your lower back. Soften in the back of your neck. Relax the shoulder blades down into the earth. Feel your legs soften into the ground. Focusing here on your inhales and on your exhales. Shavasana, the most important pose of yoga. We do all that movement to get to, to get to this place of stillness in the body. We wear out the body to want to become still. And then we try to let the mind follow that. So if you have time, stay here as long as you like. Thank you for joining me today, day one of our yoga challenge. I love you all. Namaste.